Hey, what's going on YouTube? J Jamo T V H D. Now, excuse me for my dodgy posting recently. I've just come out of hospital after a whole week trying to fight pneumonia. Yeah, pneumonia together with whichever virus has been coupled with it. So, excuse my voice, it sounds a bit wheezy at the moment. And I'm trying my best to remove <coughs> all the coughing out of my videos. So, with them two things, let's get into it. Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch. What even is this game? Like, I did a stream yesterday about it. Um, my friend Miss Goldenlock's description section has got her YouTube details. Miss Goldenlock's fam, she put me on. She was like, yo, am I... Am I getting this? I was like, what is it? She told me it's a game, you're chilled out, you're building things, you're making your own island, you're doing all that rare tear tear stuff there and it's multiplayer so I can come to her island, she can come to my island, we can get resources. It's a bit of Sims mixed with Nintendo characters mixed with Minecraft kind of thing. That's what she was marketing it to me as. So I'm going to tell you guys what it really is and why... Why I don't know about this game in it. So yeah, let's go. The first thing you see when you boot up the game are the graphics. And the graphics are cool. You know, the graphics are really good actually, but they're just not outstanding. They're not over the mark that I'd expect Nintendo to provide kind of thing. So it kind of reminds me of Pokemon. Um, the graphics look good when you're playing it in handheld as well, as you can see here. I feel like the frame rate it's probably 30 frames per second and you don't really need too much more than that on a game that plays as slow as this all the menu UI is at you know the right size when you're playing in handheld and when you're playing on the TV so that's all good it is a first party game so I wouldn't expect any less from Nintendo but yeah um the graphics they're okay there it's nothing to really shout about I would say right let's talk about gameplay because it's a lot to talk about in terms of just describing to someone exactly what this game is. So basically, you're a normal person, you, well, kind of, you're going onto this desert island as a planned holiday trip kind of thing. So you know where you're going. Um, the travel agent's gonna take you there. You're gonna go there, you're gonna camp. It's like a wildlife kind of thing. I guess that's what you're into. And you go there now, they help you build stuff and they give you some of the you know materials that you need and when you've built your own tent and stuff like that they then say that you owe them fifty thousand <laughs> pounds or whatever fifty thousand of the in-game currency is and you're kind of like okay you don't have 50k how are you going to pay it back and they tell you that you can pay it back by doing tasks around the island so it's tasks like collecting bugs um fishing collecting fish and um, just crafting stuff. And there's quite a lot of stuff to obviously pick up, find and craft on your island. Um, but your island only has a set amount of things that you can find to craft. And then you have to go to other islands or other parts of your island to find even more things and more resources kind of thing. So that's, that's where it's going with the crafting element of the game. Um, very much so like Minecraft. There's not really any dangers in the game. Um, when you shake trees, every, I don't know, I'd say every one in 20 trees, a hornet's nest will drop once you try to shake the tree for fruit. And you've got a couple of seconds to get your bug catching net out, catch the hornets and all the bees before they sting your face, because they sting your face and your eye will be swollen. As you can see here, my character's left eye is swollen. Um, but it's only a cosmetic change and I think it just goes back to normal in a day's time. Um, so yeah, but I spent, as you can see, I've spent the most of this day um, with my character's eye being swollen because I wasn't fast enough to catch the bees. Um, but yeah, apart from that, you're just looking for resources. You're just living your best life. There's not really any time limit. Um, it's very at your own pace. Uh, or I should say it's very at the game's own pace because there's a lot of things that you can also do in the game that you have to wait until the next day for the action to take place. And it's a, it's a bit rubbish, really. It kind of reminds me of those phone games where you'll want to play another level, you'll want to play another level, but because you've got the free version, there's a little countdown cooler or cooldown timer 
that won't let you play the next level until the next day and the phone game wants to let you play it. Or you can unlock the next level right now <laughs> with some money, basically. But in this game, there's no unlock it right now. You just have to wait. For example, I um I ordered some stuff, some cosmetics for the house kind of thing. And I was like looking at my inventory. I was like, where is it? Where are the cosmetics that I just purchased? And then I realized it said that the cosmetics would be delivered to my character's house in one day. And that's one day real time. So I'm not going to see that until 12 o'clock midnight tonight <laughs> kind of thing. So, um, yeah, you can't really rush the game. Um in the first four days of playing the game, there's only so much you can actually do. And then I guess you've got to kind of put the game down, relax for like 24 hours kind of thing, or however much time it will take until the next day. And then, um, and then play again. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit weird. The pacing of the game is really confusing for me. But that's what it is, and that's what people seem to love. It's just what I needed. so you guys just heard the sound in the game and it's good it's good it's it's good enough for what the game is the game is a very simplistic game and the sound is very simplistic on top of that uh whenever you're walking on different surfaces like when i'm walking on wood when i'm walking on grass when i'm walking on sand each of those different surfaces provide a different footstep sound and you know you can hear bugs nearby if you're looking to catch bugs or you can hear water and fish like splashing about if you're looking to catch fish just you know simple stuff like that the sound complements the game i would say at the very least and you can actually get music and stuff like that to play in your house and whatever you want to do if that's what floats your boat but yeah um this game i don't know i don't know if it is for me it's definitely not for me guys like i'm just I just feel like I'm a bit bored, like I kind of made the house, put some furniture in it and I'm just sitting here like, now what? And what's worse is that you're held with these time gates where you have to wait at least 24 hours before something special can happen in the game and you can get to the next stage. Like when you make a, um, an addition to my house, I have to wait 24 hours for that addition to be built. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Why am I waiting so long? Um, a lot of these things make it a much longer game than I feel personally it needs to be. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about the game in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe and like, and I'll catch you in the next one. J Jamo out.